In this demonstration, you are logged on locally with a user account that has administrative privileges. In exercise one, you use the system program to change some of the system settings. The first system setting that you will change is the default remote assistance level of access to your computer. The remote assistance feature allows you to invite another person, a remote assistant, over the internet to help you fix a problem with your computer. By default, a remote assistant can take full control of your computer. You will change the level of access so that a remote assistant can only view your computer. To configure the remote assistance feature, you use the system program. To access the system program in Windows XP Professional, click Start and click Control Panel. In Control Panel, click Performance and Maintenance. Windows XP Professional displays the Performance and Maintenance window. In the Performance and Maintenance window, click System. Windows XP Professional displays the System Properties dialog box. In the System Properties dialog box, click the Remote tab. In the Remote tab, the Remote Assistance box contains a checkbox allowing you to enable or disable the Remote Assistance feature. By default, Allow Remote Assistance Invitations to be sent from this computer is selected. In the Remote Assistance box, click Advanced. The Remote Assistance Settings dialog box is displayed. In the Control Limits box, you can determine the level of access that remote assistants have to your computer. By default, the Allow This Computer to be Controlled Remotely checkbox is selected. In the Invitations box, you can control the length of time that the invitation to a remote assistant is active. The default setting is 30 days. Change the value to 6 hours. Click OK to close the Remote Assistant Settings dialog box. This completes Exercise 1. Leave the System Properties dialog box open for the next exercise. In Exercise 2, you use the System Properties dialog box to change the size of the Windows XP Professional Paging file. In the System's Property dialog box, click the Advanced tab. Windows XP Professional reminds you that you must be logged on as an administrator to change most of these options. In the Performance box, click Settings. The Performance Options dialog box is displayed and the Visual Effects tab is active. To change the page file settings, click the Advanced tab. By default, both processor scheduling and memory usage are optimized for programs. In the Virtual Memory box, click Change to display the Virtual Memory dialog box. In the Drive list, make sure that the drive that contains your paging file is selected. In the Initial Size text box, increase the value by the amount you want. For this demonstration, increase the size of the page file by 10 megabytes and then click Set. The size of the page file is increased. If you have multiple drives, you can create paging files on any or all of them, provided there is sufficient space on the drive. At the bottom of the dialog box, Windows XP Professional displays the size of all paging files combined. Click OK to close the Virtual Memory dialog box, and then click OK to close the Performance Options dialog box. This completes Exercise 2. Leave the System Properties dialog box open for the next exercise. In Exercise 3, you use the System Properties dialog box to add a new system environment variable, and then test the new variable to make sure it is working. In the Advanced tab in the System Properties dialog box, click Environment Variables. The Environment Variables dialog box is displayed. To create a new system environment variable, under System Variables, click New. The New System Variable dialog box is displayed. In the Variable Name text box, type WinXPDir. In the Variable Value text box, type the path to the folder containing the Windows XP Professional System files, for example, C colon backslash Windows. Click OK and you are returned to the Environment Variables dialog box. Click OK to close the Environment Variables dialog box, and then click OK to close the System Properties dialog box. Close the Performance and Maintenance window. You are now ready to test your new system environment variable. To see the list of current environment variables, at the command prompt, type set pipe more, and then press Enter. 
the list of current environment variables is displayed, and WinXPDir is listed. The command prompt is pointing to the C drive, the drive on which you installed Windows XP Professional. Type cd backslash, and then press enter to switch to the root directory. Type cd space percent winxpdir percent, and then press enter. You should now be in the Windows directory, proving that the system environment variable you created worked. Type exit and press enter to close the command prompt.